Apple is rolling out this cool new AI thing called Apple Intelligence, but there is a catch. I'm Kurt the Cyber Guy. Follow me at cyberguy.com where my newsletter is free. This AI is pretty nosy. iOS 18.1 is giving Siri and Apple Intelligence some serious superpowers. They're trying to create this digital version of you to personalize everything, but it seems cool, but kind of creepy at the same time. It wants to learn from all your apps, including the ones with your most sensitive info. We're talking about banking apps, health trackers, even your maps, yikes. To start, let's dive into what Apple Intelligence is to truly harness its potential. Remember, Apple Intelligence needs to be activated to work its magic. When you enable it, it starts learning from your apps and behaviors to provide personalized experiences. However, you might be asking yourself why you should even consider turning this feature on. First off, Siri got smarter. With this update, Siri can understand context much better. Then we have the writing tools. They're designed to refine your writing and even summarize long text. And if you love taking photos, you'll appreciate the enhanced photo search. There's also improved productivity. This feature can prioritize your notifications and summarize your emails, helping you stay organized and focused. So there are plenty of reasons to give it a try. But don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to keep your private stuff private, even with this fancy new AI. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's make sure that you can even use this feature. You're gonna need an iPhone 15 Pro or newer, about four gigabytes of free space and iOS 18.1 or later installed. Now, if you haven't done that, here's how to update your iPhone to iOS 18.1 or later. Open settings, tap general, you're gonna select software update. Now, if it's available, download and install iOS 18.1 or later. All right. Now for the important part, here are the apps you definitely want to keep Apple's AI out of. Financial apps, do you really want AI knowing about the impulse buy you made at 2 a.m.? Health and fitness apps, your step count is your business, not Apple's. Location-based apps, because nobody needs to know you visit the donut shop every Tuesday. Now let's get into how to actually change these settings. It's pretty simple. Open up your settings app, Scroll down and tap on Apple Intelligence and Siri. You may have already turned on this feature, but if you're now first considering using it, be sure to toggle on Apple Intelligence. Scroll all the way down and tap on Apps. You're gonna see a list of all the apps Apple Intelligence wants to learn from. For each app you wanna keep private, tap on it and toggle that off. Learn from this app. Remember, gray means off, green means on. And there you have it. You've just taken control of your privacy in iOS 18.1, but here is a pro tip. Check these settings regularly. With every update, new permissions sometimes sneak in with updates. So stay vigilant. More helpful tips like this at cyberguy.com. If you don't already have my newsletter, what are you thinking? Click the red button after opening a browser and going to cyberguy.com to get it for free.